there's a lot about this job that stops you getting too self-important. I remember being at some event. One of my colleagues heard someone in the crowd whisper, isn't that the Archbishop of Canterbury over there? And the person's friend hissed back, nah, too short. When I meet Jesus Christ at the judgment, I know one thing. He isn't going to care what size of archbishop I was, or I think whether I was an archbishop. What matters is that I loved him and sought to follow him, and above all, that I trusted in him alone for my life and my future. Because the most important thing I've ever done is to become a follower of Jesus. I took my first steps with him about 42 years ago. Over those years, he's been a faithful friend, a sovereign Lord, compassionate, forgiving, my ever-present saviour, everything in my life, the heart and foundation of all I am. Through the hardest and most painful times and in the best and most joyful times of my life, Jesus has walked alongside me. He's never left, even when I've wanted him to. When I felt ready to give up hope, he picked me up and it's his love that has healed me and strengthened me. Following Jesus has been the core point of my life. And that's one reason I want everyone to hear his voice calling to them and to learn what it is to find his love, his call, his direction, his purpose. That's why I'm pledging to pray for more people to know the life-transforming love of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm asking you, along with every Christian community around the world, to join me in pledging to pray as part of Thy Kingdom Come.